again. I'm Jordan Smith from Rapido Trains Inc. But we're just about to rip. <laughs> Hello again, everyone. I'm Jordan Smith from Rapido Trains Inc. And again, I'm here with Bill Schneider from Rapido Trains Inc. And we're back showing you uh, yet another product. Uh, this is our N Scale 8600 uh, New Haven Coach. So I, it, this is kind of fun because Jason just handed me this. This is a, this is an ad uh, yeah. that was actually done. Jordan, what's would that? You? Seriously? How did this, those this, get in there? this is an old uh, Pullman Standard ad, Pullman Bradley, which I did think is really cool. For the original car. Put! Yeah, back here, back, 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 back here. No, pay no attention. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about All the right. cars. So uh, these cars were built uh, for the New Haven Railroad um, starting in 1947. Uh, New Haven used these to modernize its passenger fleet, and as such, they're a perfect accompaniment to our N scale FL9, which everybody just loved. I mean, these are yep. the perfect cars to go behind mm -hmm. them. Yeah, and they've certainly done a beautiful job on them. I mean, the, the, the factory just really knocked yep. it out of the park they on did. these. They did. Um, like all of the cars that we do, we've, we've kind of tried to cover all of the various paint schemes. This is the New Haven delivery scheme with the Hunter Green window band, uh, Hunter Green roof, uh, side skirts. And as you can see, it's a Rapido car, so it's, it looks better turned over. All the underbody detail, just amazing stuff. Uh, etched metal end gates in end scale. I can't even see half this stuff anymore. Um, <laughs> Separate grab irons on the side. Metal uh, grab irons. Metal grab irons, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, you can see the little nameplates. I don't know if you can get into that, Dan, with the little etched nameplates on the car. Just really mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> this was the original delivery scheme. Yeah. And the second version we have here, this is the same version of the car, but they were repainted in the uh, McGinnis uh, orange. Uh, what year was that? About early this would 50s? have been in the mid-50s, yeah. 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 Uh, the next version, um, we actually have the skirtless version that we'll show you in a sec, but we've also got Penn Central in the proper green. Uh, with the New Haven guys, just close your eyes and I'll cover your ears. I'll let you know when to come <laughs> back in here. Um, yeah. But yeah, the Penn, the Penn Central car, this is the car without the side skirts, um, which is as the cars were were run in later years. Um, and again, with all the, the nice little stick-on notices that Penn Central put in, in lieu of lettering on the cars. Mm -hmm. And then, and, uh, yep, finally we've got, uh, well, after Penn Central was finished with these, uh, they didn't go to Amtrak. Instead, MBTA seems to have picked up uh, quite a bit of the fleet. They did. They had quite a few yep. of them until they basically rusted into oblivion. Yep, and that lasted until, I guess, the early 80s. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so very nice. Here. So they come, seems to have grown. I think. Yeah, I think we've, uh, we've, we've shown that off before. So open it up here. Lid. Car. and uh, nicely wrapped up in the plastic wrap. This, of course, this, when you open this up, it also reminded me, these cars are fitted uh, with interior lighting mm -hmm. and use our wand with the reed switch in the roof to actually operate the lights on and off so that yep. you can have them, have them lit or not. Okay. So there's the interior of the car. Um, I've already installed the two batteries, They're like a watch battery, just fit those right in there. You can also see the smoking section down here yep. at the one end on mm -hmm. these cars, which had uh, the glass partitions, which we've included as well. How many things have you broken in the past week? Uh, that was not. <laughs> that was not my <laughs> fault this time. Exactly. Just turn the lights off for a sec. There we go. So when you dump the batteries out of a little plastic bag, you may notice two little plastic black parts that fall out. Those are actually the steam uh, lines, the Barco connectors for the end of the car. Uh, the instructions show you how to attach those. You can attach those uh, with just a small dab of glue. Uh, we didn't put them on from the factory because we figured they were just gonna fall out in transit. So it gives you a little bit of work to do on the car. What's the pricing? We didn't talk about the pricing. You can add that in with the- I'm text. not sure what the pricing is. You can, I don't oh know. yeah, yeah. You can add that in with the text. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay, thanks a lot. See you yeah. later.